See, this is what's happening. I honestly, I think these sheep are getting ch chased away, then they're getting mixed up. I, I think we bring the electric fence today and, and fence that just fence that section off. Just can't use yeah. it. Go, go, go! Rapid. Oh, see, you didn't believe in yourself. You have to go through the lamp. So what I should do is take a wee second to answer a couple of comments while we're sitting here watching the sheep with our lambs. So this girl I can see, like the last one, Marissa just turned over, has been over a while, so the big thing with these girls if they've been over a while is rather than let them look silly and run off and keep falling back on her back and get even more stressed, just pop them up for a second. Just sit them up, ease them forward, let their, their guts and the, the fluid in there is a big factor as well and the gas. It's like that last girl, the lamb and everything have been pushed to one side so now her weight's all off balance. When she stands back up. Good morning, sheep fans. Cammy's the name, sheep's the game. Nearly forgot that, but. Been a good morning so far, actually. Really mild, really dry, no wind. I don't even have the microphones on. And no. I shouldn't say it. No dead lambs yet. Probably one over that hill. But two cow chows, but they're absolutely fine. We checked them last thing at night. So, the worst case, they've been here all night, which they can survive. As always, if you'd like to support the channel, then please do check out the merch store. Pick up a little purchase there. We have some fun Lambing Squad t shirts uh, coming soon. Or maybe they're already on. How are you now, lass? Better? There we go. Job done. Jinxed it. Jinxed it. Not a dead lamb, though, but a girl needing a hand. She's just not, not a nice sheep, humpy back and a terrible dragon saggy bag. Nightmare with the bags this year. I mean, that bag is shocking, absolutely shocking. I think, I think I'll bring her back to the shed just to make sure the lamb actually gets a sook. We, it's gonna run over the top of him, is it? Shh, here, 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 catch it. Here, 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 As much as, uh, as much as, uh, <laughs> as much as anything with the glove, it means that when you jump back in the bike, you don't get everything covered in slime, and your hands don't dry out as bad. Your hand, I mean, it's quite chilly this morning. Like he says that, and I'm gonna have to use my left hand because it's such a big pull. Right. Oh, in fact, I just realised. Should I turn her back in lambda? That pop back in just like that. Right. Take her back, we'll put a lamb on her. Right, see back, <laughs> that leg just slipped back in there. We'll just take her back, if we take the lamb out now, it, the lamb's gonna get dirty, navel and stuff. If we're lucky to just snip her back to the shed two seconds, we'll put the lamb out. Let's go. Hung lamb, very hung lamb. Early spot, early spot. It's been hanging, hanging for a while tonight, well, through the night. Never getting the second leg. What about this is the bloody second leg? Oh. Oh. Might be alright. No, ambitious. See that lamb's been hanging for most of the night. Bugger. That's our first dead hung lamb. It's been going too too good to be true. Aye, it's these particular type of sheep we're buying. Not the ones for Billy Welsh, by the way, they're class. Just another wee group we buy from somewhere else, but get causing us problems. Uh, right, she should have another lamb that should be fine. This is actually why I put a rib cuff on the soft shells so you can pull them up out the way and the rib cuff holds them up out the way. Great wee bag of milk as well. Ah, oh, lass. Bloody hung lamb in the twin field. No feeding. Just too much grass this year. I think we're in trouble. Even just now they've got too much grass. I think she'll take this lamb. We take that lamb, lass. Oh, I think bring the trailer over, Marissa. Well, that's what I get. Steady, last steady. You're for a stressful night. 
she's just had a bit of stress, obviously been trying to lamb through the night. So probably the last thing she's thinking of just now is mothering that lamb, so I thought if I'd let him sit there for a second she might mother it and we could pop her back out rather than take her inside, but I think we might need to take her inside. So Marissa, poor Marissa's trying to hold a lamb and hold the camera. We've got a noisy lamb here because it's a rub on that she's not that happy. From yesterday, I think we showed you at the end of the vlog, she did two dead lambs, so we're just sucking him on. He's almost got too used to the bottle. But no mum, that's not your lamb, let me just sit you down again. I know you're desperate for a lamb, you're about to have two of them. Steady mum, come on, come on. I used to use a wee potting tree for this, but I don't know where I've left it, so... We're going to use a bag till I can get another one. She is just wild, calm down lad. she's desperate for a lamb. Calm down, what's your heat? I'll need to move you. I just realised now I checked this other side of the bag. Loads of milk. Okay lass, it's, it's coming out. Oh, right. Take that now, Marissa. Okay, so this is a wet adoption, anyone that's new to the channel. We've not done one yet this year. Well, we have, but not, not in this manner. My God. Too much grass for these singles. We're going to be in bother this year, I think. Steady last. I know you know it's out and you're desperate to see it, but give me a second just to. So, essentially, what we're doing is just rubbing the amniotic fluid over this wee lamb. It's a bit, it's not, you know, it's a bit rough and ready, and the wee lamb's like, God, I, I'm no long clean for my last birth. I know you're soaking me again, but. But it's between that and not having a mum, you know, this is the option. She's bags, literally a horrible big bag of milk. So, just give it a good wee rub. Plenty of juices there, that's a good thing. Nice wee extra water bag. And we'll just recreate the buff, the second buff. Oh no, the scanner's got it wrong. She was meant to be a single, but she's having twins. Here it is. Oh, oh, there's two. Marissa, there's two there. Go along with it. Oh my god. <laughs> I really should probably be tying this lamb's legs. Do we just try and get away with it? Do we lie the big. Let's, let's lie the big lamb on top. Steady, mum. Steady, get up now. She's a great mum. Look at that. She's desperate for a lamb. I think she's so kind. I think I think she's one of those mules you could just have thrown anything in there and she'll take it. So we'll uh, we'll go and finish the rest of the rounds and we'll come back and see how that's going. Okay, so here we go, twin on lamb. It was in getting a suit just before that came over. Now we need to get this week going for a suit. Mummy, how how are you feeling, Mum? You're a bit sad. That baby lamb. Wish it was always that simple. It's a farmer thing, you know. We're sad. Like I'm, I'm. Uh, I was, I was holding that you getting that llama suit on, but it's kind of working away itself now. And I'm sitting, I'm sitting watching Farmer Pete from Doscoin on the live stream. I'm on the headphones here, so you you, uh, you won't be able to hear the audio. But yeah, I'm literally just walking, watching Pete wandering around the llama shed doing the morning jobs. <laughs> While I'm doing the morning jobs, <laughs> it's like Inception. Okay, so I've just had a phone call. There's some women uh, next to the llama field with six dogs off the lead. So we'll go and see what's happening. So, prime example, and uh, I spoke to a person earlier today. I wasn't going to put the footage in the video because I was just keeping it for, for evidence. I'll just show you a quick clip. I spoke to somebody today, dog off the lead, walking around the edge of this wood. Sheep are all bunched the far side of the field, and we're coming around looking for this woman, and there's a lamb here by itself. The nearest sheep are 300 metres away. So the mum, this lamb's been sleeping. The mum's obviously get spooked and bolted away because the, the footpath comes right here. The footpath goes right by here. You know, dogs come up here sniffing at the fence, whatever. This is a cracking, absolute monster of a big lamb. Cracking lamb. We'll find the mum with a sink. This is a twin field, so we'll find a mum that's just got one and we'll get it back on her. But it's the principle of this bloody thing. In fact, I'll keep, I'll keep the camera on and I'll show you how far away these sheep are, right? I mean, the ridiculous thing is, like, we were around here 10 minutes ago, but the wee lamb's just been down, and there's like a wee hollow at the fence. Hey, wee lamb, mate. Ah! 
Okay, so now we, there's a sheep. Now we just need to find a sheep with a single. Who's got a big single? It's fairly fresh. Is she gets that both her lambs? No, that one's got a jacket, so it's, she's got two in there. I think now she's got her other one's lying down next to her. There's one there that's in the middle. No, it's got a jacket on. Who's got one lamb? Oh, right. It's a big strong lamb. I wonder if we just put it out here. Right. I cannot see. I cannot see, so let's pop the lamb out and see what happens. The great thing today, it's a perfectly still morning. Just, yeah, you'll need to wander away and shut the door, Marissa, or it'll keep coming to you. Just, just shut the door. I think it's her. Is it this mule you here? She's gunning a wee bit. Walk it up towards that area, Marissa. No, it's got a number on it. Oh, it's not her. See, this is what's happening. I honestly I think these sheep are getting chased away, then they're getting mixed up. I I think we bring the electric fence today and, and fence that just fence that section off, just kinda use it. What do we do with this lamb? Let me see its navel, was it quite fresh? No, it's not. That's me getting fed, isn't it? Oh it is, it's a big strong lamb. Take a chance and just sit it down, see what happens and come back for it. Mm -hmm. Put put a dot on it. Leave it for twenty minutes. And off chance it'll wander through a few sheep and find its mum. Yeah, it's definitely something happened here this morning because there's another lamb just sitting by itself with no mum. And then this lamb's going all stiff. It could be the fallout from the dog attack the other day that it just didn't get mothered up right because there's one ended up with a triplet. One was the one that I got, put put the lamb with the wrong mum and ended up with a triplet. But there's another one that was running with a triplet I noticed yesterday as well. Yeah, we're going to bring the electric fence up and fence off that top section of that field. Right, we'll come back for that lamb. But I want to lift this wee joint ill lamb. I don't think it is a mother. That's what's happening here. These, I mean, that's the only explanation for that good fed lamb being left away over the other side of the field. Like that, as they've been spooked this morning. Remember, you have to go fast at it, or it'll, because as soon as it sees you, it'll go. Hang on, I'll go a bit closer. That's you now. Go, 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 rapid. Oh, see, you didn't believe in yourself. You have to go through the lamb. Right, you got it though, well done. Okay, so for, for joint ill, this is this is the next thing you would get. Joint ill, we are on the uh, Sinulux and a wee, a wee tiny, tiny amount of Metacam. A wee half mil. The problem with this job is, with, with these joint ill lambs and why, partly why they're such a, a nightmare is you have to do this for five days in a row, but after a couple of days they start getting too fast to get a hold of. Make it really obvious, put plenty on it. Should I use the orange spray? Right, go with that. Can I price that stuff? Oh my God. Right. Uh, hang on, we'll take it back to our mum. Now we'll just we'll just leave that wee lamb for half an hour, wandering about, see if it can bump into bump into its mum. What's the story here? You see, you're, you're going at it like you're feared to miss it, so you miss it. That's what happens if you're like, you just have to dive at it. Oh, that was well held by the way. See if I did that. See if I did what you just did that, I tore the ligaments at my knee. That'd been my lambing over. It's probably a, a wee dodgy belly button there as part of the... Part of the issue. Funny, it's the two lambs we've handled that have got joint ill. You know, this one we've grabbed it to put a jacket on, the other one I put a number on it, so it didn't get mixed up. It's got a mum that likes it, I'll just drive over to water. Just sit there, there. Okay, so lots, lots going on, just wee jobs here and there, but one thing we've really neglected and missed and, and not been getting onto enough is getting triplets marked and into this field because they're getting mixed up now and they keep I know Spot chased them a bit the other night but we got away with that but there's been so many born the last two days that they all seem to want to go in this bloody narrow corner and then get mixed up I think it's because it's dry and sheltered out the wind they're not all hers oh my god she's too quick for me I'm loath to mark these now because I don't believe they're all hers so uh, and I don't know what one is the hers so let's just leave them the new and see if she naturally drops one off it's the big one, isn't it? It's maybe... Let's, let's stand her and just watch. 
Right, let her just relax a minute. Marissa sees she'll start nudging a lamb. Look at the lambs, girl, don't look at me. Oh, she's a, a double white tag, so she's one of those ones we bought. If you've been a real close follower of the channel, we bought these as suckled gimmers. So they were gimmers that had lambs as hogs. We bought 10 of them, I think, for £110 each out of air market one time. So she was £110 two years ago. But she won't look at the lambs. Just back off a wee bit, Marissa. Just take the pressure off her a bit. See if she'll just look at the lambs and show us what one she doesn't like. There we go. You see what one it is? Aye, okay. ah, Phyllis, the away one. No, she definitely doesn't like that lamb. Try and head her off so it's, I can see if she likes the other three. I think those three look quite even. I would say they are hers. Let's just see if she likes them. I don't think, it's not that she doesn't like them, I think it's just that we're stressing her out. I think they're quite an even set of lambs. Right, I think they're hers, Lizzie. Just bring the bike over, we'll mark the lambs. And we'll put this lamb in the trailer. Put Spot in the back. We'll mark these three and uh, then we'll go and deal with the next problem. Okay, so we're just going to wander down here with two or three sets of ewes and lambs. See how we go. Too many lambs now, Mum. Oh, oh. Got some visitors today. Harry Jude, would somebody asking uh, specifically for the twins? Was it Mary? Aye, Mary. Mary was asking for the twins. Molly. Uh huh. She didn't ask for you. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know why that is? Why? Because the twins twins are so rememorable, aren't they? Because they're so cheeky. Absolutely. You're, you're too polite. What? What? No, my dad is cheeky. You cheeky boys? He's cheeky. Uh, yeah. oh, I bet he's a, 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 a going on holiday tomorrow. Uh, Wednesday. Two days. Two days. Where are you yeah. going? Portugal. How long are you going for? Five days. Five days. Wow. Is it like a villa? Yeah. Yeah. But it's got a cold swimming pool. Yeah. Are you quite glad that your mum and dad are really rich? No. 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 Would you rather they were poor? Yeah. Yeah. I bet you would. Then you'd grow up with me. My mum and dad are rich. <laughs> I wonder what? if you like candy. Molly, Molly, don't let them brainwash you like that. Oh. All right, don't you listen to your dad? All right, that's just what he tells you when he, you don't, he doesn't want to get you something, but he can actually afford it. He just doesn't want to get you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I don't know if we'll be able to see this without spot hearing us coming. <laughs> Even the dog's getting more sleep than me. Right, like, is it on YouTube now? No. No. <laughs> Molly's yes, leaving. Uh, no wonder. Look at the amount of muck going through there. That's a, br a brand new jacket as well. The cheap game's gonna have to pay for that. Like a real farmer. You do. Real farmers are dirty. Yeah. You look like a real farmer in your Nike tracksuit. I look good. You look good. He says, I look good. Turn around, Jude. I'm looking at you. Let's see your back. Oh yeah. <laughs> Clever, clever. I, need to wash my hair after all. <laughs> I think I'll let you have a shower. Spot that was traumatising for you, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this was I think this is maybe our last I will say okay at the start. This is maybe our last good day for a while and the rain is starting now, it's to, to get pretty wet. Just wanted to show you this little little setup here. So we had this lamb that was twinned on earlier. She had three dead lambs. Um, Owen and Marissa lambed her and we brought her in and we've tried to adopt this lamb on but she's not keen on it. Now this thing here that's very demeaning you might say, unflattering, it's an adopter hurdle so essentially the sheep's head just pops in the top there and then this just slides up and down, you put this in, lock it in and then she can still sit down, she can get down and get food and water when we put that in with her and the lamb as you see here can suckle away his heart's content and essentially you leave him in there for a day maybe two days and they'll be bonded it will smell like mum and by some magic of nature they love each other she has got a cull tag in three dead lambs of course we give her a cull tag and that's that there that's from Solway Recycling I think I don't know how much it was Lizzie's mum bought that as a gift didn't she for Christmas presents the best kind of Christmas presents and what else do we have with problems this is had a, I don't think it's premature, it's just a silly wee lamb. So she's had a silly wee lamb that's just not quite right. We've tubed that and it's been in the hot box for a bit, but we're just not sure it's going to come right. But we'll keep feeding it. Mum that had hung lambs here, 
are looking good. They're too big for you, lass. You're too small a thing. Girl that we lambed outside earlier, one was hung and one wasn't. That was this morning, that dead lamb we had. So she's absolutely fine. She could actually go out, to be fair. And then another difficult lamb in here that Owen and Marissa had and they brought her back in. We're just uh, out maximising the CF Moto's uh, seat width here. And I've decided, this is my first time sitting in the middle and it is by far the best seat because Marissa has to do the gates, Lizzie has to do all the concentrating things. I'm just replying to YouTube comments. That's the nasty weather starting again. Now I must admit, like when it's when it's nice weather, I, I really enjoy a run round on the quad bike to, to check the use. But when it when it's like this and it's wet, this this is where this CF motor buggy comes into its own. Like I'm sitting here looking out at the ewes, watching what they're up to. If there's a ewe lambing, as we often do, we just sit and watch her. And I mean, even the way it's framed, it's like you're sitting here watching a movie. You know, actually the worst thing about this situation is, is me speaking and, and ruining it because the rain's coming down nice, the birds, I can hear all the birds in the woods round about us. There's been a bit of heat and it's almost like that kind of smell of rain after a bit of dry and sun and it's just, uh, we're very lucky. Like, that's when you really, this is when it hits you, you're like, best job in the world. Best job in the world. When you're sitting in a CF motor buggy. <laughs> <laughs> Not so much when you're on the quad bike, you'd be heading straight for home. Uh, but it's amazing how much time, I wouldn't say waste, time I just spend just sitting looking at sheep. It's great. Therapy. You tired, son? Hmm? You a clever wee dog? Okay, so little lamby we've dumped in earlier. I think it's him. It looks like a different lamb. But this morning we saw a lamb come by that didn't ha come by that didn't have a, a mum. Well, it's jumped on here with her. Yeah, I think it is a lamb. It was a strong lamb. Stand. And it's been getting a sook. It's been pinching a sook because it is so strong. But we'll need to lift it. It's just going to cause problems. Come by. Oh, don't separate, wee lamb. Oh, I've lost my good stick. Come by. Now the wee lamb knows what's happening. Oh, that loose spot. It's an absolute beast of a lamb. Like it must have a mother here. It's a beast of a lamb. Spot you'll need to go back in the back, my pal. So this wee lamb in here. It's a good lamb. If we need to take it back, we'll take it back. So since you last saw me, I've been putting lamb max on my triplets. And we've had a girl here that have been watching and she's now just popping a little head out. She needs a little bit of help, I think. Definitely needs a bit of help. She's hanging that lamb. We'll just go quiet. There is a leg there. The lamb's absolutely fine because she's not been lambing too, too long. So, oh, she looks like the kind of you that's going to have a goat spot. Your lamb's in for a soak. It's hungry, Mum, because you've been lying down pressing that other lamb. Oh, I need a glove. It's these, these ones I keep saying I'm having problems with. It's the same ones. Yellow and green tags. I've, I've had my right stick. This was a nice you for it because she's standing nice, but this one's meant to go around her neck. Come by. Come by. Please just lie down, you're too strong. Oh, right. Lamb's absolutely fine. You're fine, lass. You'd have got this yourself, you just need me. There you go. Oh, there you go. We're not panicking, Lammy, are we? We're not panicking. You're a big lamb for a triplet. Just swing you round to mum. It's okay, mum. It's okay, mum. That's a new lamb. Oh, she's looking away at it already. Watching Spot all the time now after we had our little shenanigans. Someone asked about these gloves, why I use one that goes over the head. Well, I've actually got loads of them from scanning and the main reason is it keeps it held up and it keeps this bit um, tight. Those of you that have used these gloves that just go to here, you'll know that as you're lambing the sheep, they fall down and then the hand goes all bloody loose and you're trying to feel what you're feeling and all your feelings folded up glove, whereas this keeps the glove tight. But you, you literally just Google search over the shoulder veterinary, veterinary gloves and look for the Google images of, of this. What, what, we're opening a shop soon. Slam, I was talking. We're opening a, a store soon and when I open the store, we'll, we'll stock them in the, in the store. A proper physical store. <coughs> so the fly. Lammy. 
Lammy, you're so loud. Here we've got you, here, Lammy. Watch, thank you. We've got your wee brother or sister here. Definitely wee, this is, this is a wee tiny tot. And if I stand up out the way and let you get on with it, that wee lamb will see you and come back. Do you want a wee help, Mum? No, you don't need a help. You're fine, she'll come back. She's just quieting down that one. She'll come back for her new lambs. It's just a beautiful, peaceful night. Like I, I know I said that, but it's beautiful. I'm just hanging, I'm literally just going field to field, hanging out with the sheep. Early spot. Well done, pal. You want we clap first? You want we clap first? Actually, in fairness, one spot. In fairness, I was putting them in here earlier when it was raining, uh, but then I kept walking across and hitting my bloody charging cable, but I can move it. There you go. Right, Mum, I'm going to drive away and see if you go over to those lambs. If not, you're coming inside. I think she'll go over to them. She's actually just looking for me to disappear. She's like, fool me once. Shame on you. Fool me twice. Shame on me. And remember what I said earlier about it being like sitting watching a movie. I just sit here, park up and see what happens. If, if Mum's not going to be too kind with them, we'll pop on the trailer. But I think she will. And she's plenty of milk. I just have most of them. Some milk this year. Anyway, I'll sit here and relax. See you in a while. So I came back down to put where to bring them into the shed, but to be honest, they're up, they're so lively. Mum's a great mum. Even the wee tiny tot's in for a sook. She's got great little teats. I think I stick some jackets on. Nah, don't be miserable, Cammy. Put them in the shed. Put them in the shed. Lie down spot. Let me check these other ones over here in case they need to go in the shed. Can you see them? But I don't think they do. I put jackets on them. It's really mild. Like, it is really, really mild. That's the good thing about the weather forecast. So, are there any benefit in the shed, really? When it's this mild? I mean, even even the hat, like, there's no wind. It's perfectly still. It's beautiful, actually. They look so lively. And they'll be fine. She says. The, the rain is so light, like, I didn't even bother bringing my jacket. Like, this soft shell available in the merch store. Is, uh, is waterproof enough? Uh, no use if you're sitting on a quad bike. But if you're sitting in a bloody... Done. That's us for this one, sheep fans. I have lambs to feed, final rounds to do, but as I said, it's getting dark, we stop. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow. We're in for hellish weather again. Definitely have the jacket on tomorrow morning. Cheers, folks. <laughs>